But it's <sighs> it's we're we're back to Castlevania Lords of Shadow. We uh took a week off. I went to see Sonic 2 and B went to went to learn about murder. I went to learn about murder in a haunted uh historic library that had the worst seats in history. <laughs> and it broke my ass for a bit. I'm sorry about your ass. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, chapter two, Dark Dungeon. Dark Dungeon. Okay, so Agharda must have been the last one we did. So we're on Dark Dungeon. Oh, dark the dungeon that dozes in the dusk. That's a Sonic Adventure 2 reference. Go. Surely she could not have survived alone in this hellhole. Everybody loves Maybe Shadow the Hedgehog. No one doesn't like Shadow the Hedgehog. It's true. She is leading him. Shadow the Hedgehog this is the greatest character ever created from fiction. <laughs> and yet it seems Gabriel is communicating with her in some way. More like Dork Dungeon, am I right? Ha! Oh. Got him! Ha! This is this is the this is the quality of humor everyone's here for. I mean, we could go back to talking about Bee's drink. We could. <laughs> Tasty. It's not going to be the first thing Beat that we talk flavor. about anymore. So. Yeah, we talked about a bunch of stuff. Bee, do you want to <laughs> discuss your drink? I have a peach flavored drink. Do you want to describe? <laughs> do you want to describe the appearance of this drink as you described it to us early? God damn it! As I happily said, without giving gauge any sort of contents, I went. I have my cummy drink. And there you go. And I am. Thrilled to report that its appearance uh, justifies that description. Yeah, it's very watery, so it can't be that. But it, in in appearance, it is milky. <laughs> it is a very milky color. But it tastes good. And isn't that what's important? I'm thinking like wet wet Q-tip or something. I want to have it, like, soaked. I'd have it be... Like, yeah, just like... Moistened. A... Yeah, just like... Wet. Ah! <laughs> why did that do ah. that? Why did that do that? Why does... Why... I don't know, why did it do that? 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 I'm nervous! Well. What the... What? Now it's out! Oh, okay. What the fuck... Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? What a fuck. Alright, hold on. There we go. Oh, I have an insect fact. Oh yeah, what? What is it? What was that? What's up? Uh, do you want to know why spiders curl up in a little ball when they die? Weren't we discussing- when were we discussing that? Was it on Twitter or was it during a stream? I don't... Audrey mentioned it on Wednesday because crunchy hands do not allow for drawing. Oh, okay. I did mention that... very briefly. I do, but, um, I do want to know. I always kind of assumed it was sort of like a spider rigor mortis. Uh, kinda, sorta. Um... Since spiders don't have actual, like, bone structure... Mm -hmm. Because they're, like, essentially just filled with fucking liquid. They have exoskeletons, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the way that their legs work is kind of like a penis. Oh! That's why yeah. you tweeted that! Yeah. Okay. Spider is <laughs> penis, good night. <laughs> now imagine having, like... Sense. <laughs> Instead of instead of legs, you would just have eight more of those, and you walk around on them, and and you can uh, you can control their rigidity at will. In That's how a spider way, lives its life. In a not penis way, spiders have hydraulic legs. <laughs> yes, they do have hydraulic legs. 
But in a penis way, they have penis legs. In a penis way is how they die. <laughs> <laughs> really? Just earning that mature tag early on this one, huh? We're, we're what? We're only about half an hour in. We're already talking about dicks. In the, con supposed... in the context of spider legs, of course, but oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, my drink came first, though. Yeah, it sure did come first. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Awful! Awful! Terrible! Good job. <laughs> and he invites us here. The drink's all gone, so you don't have to worry about it anymore. I would Aww. not have it any other way, admittedly. <laughs> yeah, I thought, thought, thought we should share that Spoodler fact with you. I mean, given previous stream topics of conversation, like, this is probably <laughs> the best. Oh, fuck. Whoop. Kind of overshot that one. This is the, the best place to talk about gross bug facts. If you have gross bug facts, Send them into the stream at insert hyperlink. If you have gross bug, bug facts, send them to at Team Catpole on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fair. You can find crystal shards scattered all over the place. I often go in search of them. Oh, yeah? How can I hear your voice? If... I'm not moving my lips. I have the gift. I can also read minds. Who are <laughs> it's okay. okay. Let me read, read your, your thoughts. thoughts. No. no! What is it? What's wrong? That's not a reaction you want from a telepath who tries oh, to read your thoughts. The Lords of Shadow take their power. Not ideal. And bring the one you love back. Like, can you imagine going to a psychic, they put their hand to your temple, and they just start screaming, and you're sitting there like, is this, is this a good thing? <laughs> you go to a person to get, like, your future read, and they, like, pull out the tarot cards, and they pull the first one, and they just throw them all up in the air and scramble into the corner, screaming bloody murder. <laughs> God. The gift. We won't really get a whole lot of explanation as to what the gift means, unfortunately. What What's is that huh? Kung Fu Panda quote? Skadoosh? No. <laughs> God. Oh, I got myself with that oh, one. You, you did. Oh. The audacity. Woo! The audacity of that skadoosh. You kind of walked right into that, admittedly. You did. Fuck. <laughs> just imagining, like, just, what is the gift? Oh, well, it lets me project, it lets me speak to you telepathically and read your mind, and it saves us a lot of money on animation. <laughs> don't gotta worry about moving the lips, the lips don't have to move. Fate has played its hand and- Command established that Slippy fucks, and I will never forgive them for that. Slippy, <laughs> Slippy does in fact fuck. He fucks so much. He fucks hard, puts him away wet. Oh my god! We had a- I already had like a whole conversation about this. You can find it on my YouTube. It's one of my older, uh... Oh... Stream highlights. No, I'm sure. Where I believe we established that the most fuckless being in all of Star Fox is Andrew Oinkany. That checks out. That checks out. <laughs> and now that I made Gage say Slippy Fucks, I can die happy. Again, I've said that previously, and you can find the highlight on my YouTube. Just need to get a soundboard with Gage going Slippy Fucks. Also, knife attack. 
that also. Behind that big door, I knew the first time I touched your face. I have seen my fate. I am ready. Oh, okay. Huh? Okay. What do you mean? What? Uh, she lays back down again? <laughs> oh. Oh, hey, it's Pan. Let the darkness possess you, Gabriel. Gabe's having a weird one. You must remove the gauntlet from the night. No. I will have to continue without it. I will not harm Oh, uh, we could always just ask the knight nicely. It is far too late for that. I'm sure he'll be totally cool with letting us just kind of take his gauntlet. It's not like we've... Oh, no! No. Great job. No. Hey, listen, I know how this looks. <laughs> Look, it's a funny story, really. Like, if you think about it. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. We Didn't even hit you with the sword, just backhanded you. Backhanded us into the boss arena. Thankfully, I know how to handle the goop. Yes, you can take that quote out of context. I won't even be mad. Gage knows how to handle goop. 2022. Gabriel, wake up. You fucked up big time. That was basically Pan showing up, just like, hey man, guess what you fucking did? We are actually going to be fighting our first Lord of Shadow relatively soon. Ooh. Probably on this stream. The Lord of the Lycans. Oh. It's not the Heisenberg. Daddy? Oh. And Dang. he doesn't look nearly as good, unfortunately. I'm sorry to say. Dang. I think the the fucking worst part of it, though, right, is that not only does he not look good, but when he TFs into a werewolf, it doesn't improve things. Oh no. Like, oh no. If you're gonna have like an ugly guy character design, like that's fine. I I get that, you know. Mhm. Mm but like. Give me a hot werewolf, at least. I don't even get that. That's just rude. The Dark Lord of the Lycans. A woo! I was telling I was telling B earlier. He is unfortunately not good looking. And when he you have to go to Resident Evil for that. And when he werewolf TFs, he is also not good looking, which feels like a crime. What's even the point? Exactly, that's what I'm saying! Gabriel has fought long and hard to get to this point, and now he faces his stiffest challenge. This is a coward's werewolf. The Lord of the Lycans must be defeated. Let's take a look. I have come nice to boots. fulfill the prophecy. Bad everything else. What is this? A warrior from the Brotherhood. Why is what the hairline? He's got a Vegeta oh, no. Widow's Peak. Oh, it's worse than Vegeta. Vegeta at least had some hair on the top. <laughs> I am on desecrated. Oh, land. buddy. And you, and those of your clan. Or, and you will kill the saintly founders of your own order. I'm getting distracted by that vein in his temple. <laughs> brother. Even you have to smile at the irony of it all. He's just exceptionally ugly. For the greater good, I, however... Like, he's gonna turn into a doggo and it won't even be fun? It won't. So, to recap, just in case... He said a lot of things in a lot of words, but yes. to put it in very simple terms, way back in the day, 
there were three there were, there were three warriors and they founded the Brotherhood of Light, the brotherhood that Gabriel belongs to. Yeah. And they were just like, you know what? You know who sucks? You know who fucking sucks? Satan. Fuck that guy. <laughs> and they decided to fight against the armies of Satan. And they did such a good job that God was like, yo, guess what? I gave you, like, houses. I gave you land. You are now landowners. Go forth. And they went to their new houses. And when they got there, they were so happy about how cool these houses were that their souls ascended to heaven. Right? Oops. But... <laughs> They left behind their bodies, which then became the Lords of Shadow. <laughs> so the Lords of Shadow are technically the founders of the Brotherhood of Light. And our quest is to kill the Lords of Shadow, but in doing so, we will also double kill the souls of the warriors that started the Brotherhood of Light that are right now chilling in heaven. You know what? Surprisingly easy to follow after trying to, like, watch a summarization of Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is just Kingdom Hearts. I don't... I don't Sim simpler I don't Kingdom Hearts. Simpler Kingdom uh, Hearts. Do you, do you want a 40-minute video? Uh, go ahead. I, not right now. Go ahead and drop that in the Discord chat, and I'll take a look at it later. Oh, yay. Get to subject one more person to this. Cause I I'm, had to listen to it. Because I'm actually, I'm actually kind of curious. Maybe I can shove a cable into another cable and make the Elgato do unholy things. I don't know. I believe in you and your fighting spirit. I bought another extender. Did you see my diagram on Twitter? <laughs> your diagram is basically what I have, essentially. Okay, here's the I... wolf man. Oh, he's still balding. <laughs> Bro. This man clearly does not have a subscription to Manscape. Or he manscaped too much. Or that. He manscaped yeah. in very specific spots. Those spots being the top of his head, for some reason. I really want to try and, and do this and also complete the challenge, which means that I have to not heal myself. But I'm really having some trouble reading, like, the AoE attacks, like those. I, I mean, that. we're probably not helping by, like, vamping the entire time. Yeah, why are you vamping? This is a werewolf <laughs> boss. Ah! Fuck! Ah! <laughs> that wasn't us. That wasn't us. You can't blame us for that one. I can't. I'm gonna blame Paul Ben. Thank you, Paul Ben. For the Yay, Paul Ben! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Take a breather. <laughs> Calm yourself down. I can never change that notification because it's funny every time it happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. It's okay. just, it gets you every single time, is the impressive part. We gotta go fight a crow witch. Oh, witch. Alright, alright. We have to fight a crow witch so that we can get to the land of the vampire mommy. I'm listening. <laughs> That's basically it. Now, given the modern take on the vampire mommy, how would you say she stacks up? I mean, she's she's pretty stacked, yeah. Gage. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Uh, on a scale to to of one to Lady D, how excited should we be? Um, I would say maybe you can smash through this door. 
That's not what Maybe. I would say. <laughs> I fucking what? Maybe I can smash the. Oh, I know what I have to do. There we go. Good job. Thank you. What about the mommy though? Um, she's not as tall. Okay. But she's got a real neat fashion sense. Okay. Do you want a picture of the vampire mommy ahead of time? Or would you like to be surprised? You... I'm torn on this. V, what do you think? Let's be surprised. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be a little bit. I just, I wanna just let you know. I think this particular part of the game kind of takes a while between Lords of Shadow. But we have something to look forward to, at least. Yeah. What was that Shrek, okay. like, arena fighter called again? I don't know what it was called, but I know what you're talking about. But my brain is also supplying, like, the racing game instead. Like, for the game... Game Boy Color or whatever. How did we let them get away with that for so long? Making so many Shrek fa- Ah! Oh! <laughs> that was a death? You just flung yourself into the geometry. I- uh, Okay! Alright then! Gotta do this again now. Oops. It's but yeah, fine. seeing less, um... Weird little movie tie-in games lately. Yeah, I think because of, like, how expensive is it, it is to, like, make video games these days, like, it's gotten way more expensive to do so. It has Fair become enough. less profitable to have a movie tie-in game. Like, I think the last time I saw, like, a major film tie-in game was, like, the Hotel Transylvania 3 game. Which... If anyone is curious, Wait. is a Pikmin knockoff. How? How do you do that? Um, you make a minion-like race of characters specifically for your Hotel Transylvania game. I don't like that at all. Yeah, it's apparently not good. Oh no! I failed oh, the no. trial. No, don't grab me, you're so sad. Oh, no, I can't finish that. <laughs> I do not find this character particularly appealing, if I'm being honest. Not my style. It's been a little bit unappealing central since uh, Cornell showed up. The eagle was kind of cool. I still like Pan. Pan, like really holds a lot of water for me, honestly. <laughs> He's a Ted tall- Ted is carrying this game. <laughs> He's a tall drink of water and I'm very thirsty. I see, I see. <laughs> I could see a version of this where I managed to get through this whole sequence without getting hit, honestly. If I wasn't so distracted by talking about how thirsty I am for Pan, I bet I could have done that. <laughs> if only. But it, that is not a timeline that I would have wanted to live in. <laughs> it's not worth it. I mean, I feel like a rock the size of my fist thrown at my head would interrupt my combo meter in real life my IRL combo meter that I've all the time had. Just, Gabe is built different. I thought you were talking about me for a second, and just like, did Audrey just call me Gabe? And then I remembered the character's name is Gabriel. No! And I, I was really confused, because I, I was just like, Audrey wouldn't make a, a, a mistake like that. I would never. Who you the fuck is Gabe? We need to rename this man now. <laughs> this whole man. Uh, let's call him Matthias. 
Is this also a reference that I should be under? <laughs> it is not. It is a reference. I don't know if it's a reference you should understand, though. We're just gonna take it, folks. I, I don't know shit about fuck. It is actually a very appropriate reference to make. Someone explain. No. My, my brain is too small. No, don't say that. <laughs> I can't explain the reference because it's a spoiler. If I oh, do. okay. Oh, okay. It's part of the it's part of the video game. Okay. Yeah. Also, Coleman, you calm down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ah, oh, fuck. Who's that, Fuckle Chuck? So this is the chupacabras. That's a chupacabras. This is a chupacabras. Awful. <laughs> uh, I forgot that this guy shows up here. <laughs> yeah, that guy sure chups. Often portrayed as evil, blood-sucking monsters, the chupacabras only real obsession are magical relics. When in the presence of such artifacts, they will do anything to get them. However, the chupacabras are not inherently evil creatures, and most of the time, after a short game of hide-and-seek, they will return anything stolen. So guess what we get to do? No! Don't wanna... The Chupacabras has stolen your relics and powers! Get them no. back! What is this, a Metroid? Uh... But more annoying because he's making whatever that sound is? So I think in the Japanese dub he's actually voiced by Hideo Kojima. That's appropriate. I can't climb up that rope. Yep. <laughs> I found that out the hard way. Hot, hot. Look at him, staring at us. Awful. I want to crush it betwixt my fingers. I did it! You just bop it under the chin. Ba 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 ba. I hope you enjoyed how mercifully brief that was, because there's going to be another one later on. Uh, yeah, that sure feels that way. This is a pretty cool tower, though. That's a cool tower. I like the I like the the crow queen the crow witch's design aesthetic. It's giving me uh, Ganon's Tower sixty four vibes. But no, no fancy rainbow bridge leading up to it, unfortunately. This game needs to be gayer. Desperately needs it. Too many ladies going up and touching on Matthias Gabe, and then he stabs them in his sleep like a psychopath. Here's a Brotherhood Night Scroll. The legend of Malphus is known to me, and yet I never thought that I would contemplate doing battle with her face to face and alone. I have a plan on how to defeat her. It says that she launches her eggs at you, and they immediately hatch into hideous children. Uh. <laughs> Can we reread that sentence real quick? It is said that she launches her eggs at you, and they immediately hatch into hideous children. Weaponized he, he get that birth. Off a, he get that off a, a Facebook truth page or what? A cloaca cannon. Cloaca cannon? Fuck! <laughs> I surmise that if one could somehow throw her eggs back at her, one could stop the brood hatching and give her a taste of her own medicine. But how to do it exactly? If only I had some kind of combat cross. What is my trial for this? Finish the level and defeat Are the Are we fighting the fucking cannon. Kazooie or what? <laughs> Basically, let's see if we can find the, the, the Malthus the Crow Witch here real quick. Here's Cornell. He looks way cooler in the art because you can't see the top of his head as much. Ah. Oh. 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 So it is Kazooie. It's fucking Kazooie. 